Hey, what's up you guys? It's Carolina and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is basically going to be my whole boob job vlog um, with pretty much everything that happened from days one to four. Just wanted to make this little intro because I really don't talk much in the beginning about what I'm doing. Yes, I got a boob job. You can't really tell. We'll see throughout the video. I'm going to show you like a little bit of before and afters. Uh, there'll be another video coming like, you know, probably like a month down the road to show you like better results because it kind of takes a while for everything to set in. This was all filmed on my phone. So sorry if the quality is like not the best, but honestly, when you're getting surgery, all you really care about is comfort and that's what was easiest for me was my phone and I really wanted to record this process. Just some like facts to start off with because I know these are like the big questions are how much was it? It was under five grand. I don't want to give the exact cost but it was under five grand. So there you go. It's different for where you live. Everything. Everything. What you get. It can be different for every person. So that was what it was for me. Um, I chose to get saline implants and I went with moderate profile and um, let's see what else. I originally agreed to do 350 cc and because my doctor is so awesome he chose to bump it up to 420 while I was in surgery and I'm so thankful he did. I gave him the liberty to bump it up if he felt like it would fit my body better and I'm so glad he did. Uh, before surgery I lost 55-ish pounds over the past year so that's kind of my reasoning behind getting it done and I went from being a C to like an A or a B and now I am a 34 D so currently as I'm filming this it is day five or six five post-op today's Monday and a week will be Wednesday yes so today's day five um, I think at one point I say day four and it really was day three but yeah, I feel great, uh, just a little sore. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm very happy to answer. Sorry I look so busted in this clip, but you got a video, so like, let's be happy about that. <laughs> Good morning. It is May 1st and this is the start of my boob job video. Yeah, I I don't know. I promised myself I was gonna document this and now here we are and I really just don't even want to, but I feel like I'll wanna look back on this um, and just see like how I felt before. Uh, sorry if my jacket is like a lot of noise. It's like the comfiest biggest one I have so that's what I'm wearing oh so I planned this whole surgery about four months ago however I've been wanting it probably for about six to eight months so I am right now like an A or a B and I honestly don't even know exactly what I am because I haven't worn a bra in like a year and so the reason why I'm getting a boob job is because I, if you don't know, I lost like 50, 55 pounds now. We're at like 55 pounds. I lost uh, that much weight in about seven months to a year, which means when that stuff happens, like typically on women, one of the first places you lose weight is in your chest and in your butt. And I've worked really hard to get my butt back in the gym and like actually have a butt again. But like you can't do that with your chest. Like it just doesn't work that way sadly or else that's what I'd be doing to get it back so I lost a lot of like volume in my chest and I don't know like I don't it feels weird telling the internet this but like I used to have cleavage and now I don't and I just don't feel as like feminine even though I know I shouldn't but like I don't have volume in here like some girls have small chests but they have volume so like they look normal but like with me I don't have any volume so even though I have a little bit of a chest it doesn't really matter because there's no volume on top like that is all flat like flat <laughs> and I just don't want that anymore and so I'm making the decision to get a boob job and it's today <laughs> and right now it's like nine o'clock 
in the morning and my surgery is at 1 but I have to be there at like 11 30 12 because I have to take an anxiety pill before so that I don't flip my shit um honestly like I don't like being put under and I don't like surgeries and I, I kind of have like white coat syndrome, whatever, but, and I've been put under before. I got, I, I got my wisdom teeth out. You can watch that video. And I, um, when I was in high school, I had a scope, uh, endoscopy test. So I got put under for that. And I just, I typically am really, really nervous and like freaking out the entire time. But for some reason, I'm not that nervous right now. Knock on wood. And I just think it's because I'm really excited and this is something I signed up for and wanted to do. So it's like, how can you kind of be nervous about it? You decided to do it? I don't know. I'm sure I will be once I get there and like they have to put the needle in me and like all that. Like that is the part that freaks me out. I'm getting, as of right now, I don't know if it'll be different when I come out because I am getting saline. So with saline, you can fill them once they're in you. You don't have to pick a specific size before. So I kind of gave my doctor the liberty to go between 320 and 350. I tried on the 350 like implants that they give you and I, I like the way the side profile looks and everything like that. Uh, but if that ends up like, if he fills it and it looks like a little too crazy, then I'm fine with 320. Um, my preferable size after would be a 34D, like that is what I wanna be. So I was, the biggest I've ever been was a 34C and so I just want to go one cup from that. That's basically it. I'm getting the incision under the boob. That's basically it. I do want to show y'all what I look like before. Like, as you can literally see, I don't have, like, basically anything. So as you can tell, like, before, like, I literally... Like, that's my side. Like, I don't even like showing that. But, like, as you can see, like... That's me like sucking in all the way and like pushing my chest out and there's nothing there. As you can tell, I'm not gifted in this area. <laughs> you say, mommy, you pretty anyway. I know, baby. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do because he can't jump on me. So like, I'm really nervous about that, but. So they told me I had to wear like loose fitting clothes, obviously. And um, I'm just wearing like a zip up jacket. That way, afterwards, I can just zip it up and I don't have to worry about getting a shirt on because I'm not going to be able to lift my arms. Um, and they're going to give me, like, a surgery bra or whatever, so I'll just wear that with this. And I'm wearing, like, really comfy pants. So, yeah, I'll check back in with you guys the next time I do. Wish me luck. All right. So, it's some time later. My surgery was over at... What time do we did? What time did it end? Yeah, my surgery ended at three, and we were out of there by three thirty, right? Yeah. Okay, so my surgery ended at three. We we're out of there by three thirty. I was real messed up still. Was I not? Yeah, you were. And I was. They said I was being funny, right? Was I? Yeah, you were okay. cussing up a storm. Apparently, I was cussing like crazy, and my mom was not having it. <laughs> I could not help it. I don't know what I was saying, but I don't know what I was saying, but apparently my language was real colorful. <laughs> so we came home, I got some food, and then I passed out, didn't I? Yes. I took my Percocet and I passed out. And um, I need to get up and walk around. And I've been feeling fine. Like when we got home, it was a little tight, a little tender. And once I took my Percocet, within 20, 30 minutes, that tightness, went away like I couldn't feel it feel it I went I passed out and went to bed and then at six they woke me up to walk so that I could walk around and not get blood clots and then I took my muscle spasm relaxer and now it is 8 20 around there and I'm supposed to take my next Percocet at nine and I, I, I can definitely tell you like 8 30 I start I'm starting to feel a little pain like a little like I think you should take it I thought I couldn't take it till nine, but I have to have food in my system, don't I? I wait a little longer, but I don't want to like push it too far. But this is what we're working with right now. The right one is definitely a little higher, which I've just heard that some are higher as long as it's not like, as long as it's not like too terribly different and it's not right. Like, it doesn't look like it's like starting to freak out. 
Yeah, I have tits. <laughs> I got tits. They're big. It's been not bad, though. Like, honestly, like, this is better than my wisdom teeth. 100%. Like, if you can get your wisdom teeth out, you can get your tits done. Like, even though this pain right here is tight, it feels like, um, you know those things you get when you breathe in really heavy and it hurts? That's kind of what it feels like. It feels like if I breathe in too deep, I'm going to get one. You know, like that tight. It's really hard to keep my eyes open, though. Really, really hard. But I want to wake up. Like, I want to wake up. I just can't. Like, it's really hard. Okay, just did my walk around, took more medicine and ate. So probably about to pass out here in a minute. <clears throat> they look huge, huge. <laughs> okay, good morning guys. It is day one post-op. I can't really remember anything I filmed yesterday because I was so out of it. I actually got there super early so that I could take an anxiety pill and that helped so much if you ever have the option to do that do it don't think you're fine without it it was supposed to take like four hours for the whole process and it really only took like uh three and a half so really just three so that was really good and then I came home and was on medicine so I like completely passed out pretty much for the whole afternoon woke up to eat a little felt fine it's a little pretty fine I will say I woke up at four this morning to take my medicine again and it's like really tight now like I'm actually like super super duper tight um they look huge uh but yeah I'm like super tight now like up in here and over in here and kind of like in my armpits area showing the internet my boobs <laughs> uh the swelling's gonna go down a lot so like they're not gonna be literally be like the biggest knockers in the world just wanted to show y'all because we are getting ready because at 12 15 i have my post-op appointment today actually so i'm gonna go back in i think they're gonna take all the dressing off and look i don't know i just hope they tell me i can shower because i feel gross but not as gross as i thought i was gonna feel so that's good all in all really good i would say the pain right now is at like a two like it's just when i breathe in really heavy so you just have to take like shallow breaths, like, but other than that, it's good. <laughs> um, all my friends have been like texting me. They think I like, I, I pretty much announced that I was getting a boob job, but everybody's like texting me being like, oh my God, da da da. Like, but I'm okay. I'm good. Like, honestly, that, that went so much better. I don't know what all I said, but that went so much better than I thought. Like I was very calm when they put me to sleep and it made me wake up very calm. And I think that's why I'm like, doing really well so if you get offered to take anxiety medicine before getting knocked out and you're one of those people that gets kind of nervous do it a hundred percent because it helped so much okay I just got back from my post-op appointment this is Carolina's first view of this is my first time looking at them whoa, whoa dude what look at that Alrighty, wow, yeah, no, that looks good. Okay. <laughs> that was intense getting yeah. out. Yeah. It was pretty, pretty okay. intense. I have like bruising on my arm right here. And I definitely had some bruising down in here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is what I look like one day post op. I had to go buy me a cuter sports bra than that weird thing. <laughs> weird motherfucker. Um, so yeah, this is what it's, what it's looking like. I hate that you can't shower. Okay, it is day four, and I just tried Child on this bathing days. suit for the first time since. And oh my god, guys, literally, what the hell? This bathing suit used to like be completely flat on me, like completely flat. And now, I like actually have tits. <laughs> but I'm like really bruised up, like mm -hmm. really bruised up. Oh, see, like that's all bruising. It's just really tight. Like that's it. There's really 
nothing else wrong except for it just being really tight. This needs to be really tight. Ow, I do have a sharp pain running through this boob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just taking Tylenol now. I'm not even taking any of my pain meds. Wow, that looks so weird. Uh. I'm not even taking any of my pain meds anymore, the heavy ones. I'm just taking Tylenol. Like, what the fuck? I know, it just looks great. Like, what the fuck? It really looks like you're, like, it, it does not look like they're not. Yeah, if you have any questions, like I said, feel free to ask. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.